Praise the Lord. I thank God for my church where I found this opportunity to share the word of God. So let us look at the gospel of St. Luke chapter 18 verses 9 to 70. In the verse 9 to 14 are the parable of Christ about the Pharisee and the tax collector. In this parable, the Pharisee and the tax collector went to the temple to pray. The Pharisee prayed about how good he was, but the tax collector asked God for mercy as he was a sinner. In verse 14, Jesus said that it was the tax collector who went home, justified before God, he concluded. For everyone who makes himself great will be humbled, and everyone who humbled himself will be made great. So Jesus wants to teach people the importance of praying with the right attitude. So this parable aim of those who think they are very righteous and look down on others like the Pharisee. In the verse 11, the Pharisee stood apart by himself and prayed about himself, informing God of the wrong things he had not done, like, I'm not greedy, dishonest, or an adulterer like everyone else. Then he spoke about the fasting twice a week and giving the tenth of his income. But when he thought he was praying, he was actually praising himself. But the tax collector, on the other hand, would not even raise his face to heaven, but beat on his breast and said, God have pity on me, a sinner. So this tells us a couple of things about the tax collector prayers. First, his prayer had humility. It teaches the importance of praying humbly. So one must be ready to accept our own mistake and loneliness before God. Second, his prayer had honesty. It also teaches the importance of being honest in prayers and worship. Unless we are true before God, we cannot be sincere with anyone. If you see, Lent season is a time when we order our life by fasting and giving up on luxury, finding time effectively for prayers and worship. So basically, one must be accept, one person must accept humbly and honesty that his or her life needs correction. Lent teaches us that our life is not in order and we need to tune or mold ourselves according to God's wishes. Second, the Passion Week. The Passion Week also teaches us the very important lesson. When we bow down regularly and sing Kurelaizu as a response to prayer, we accept our loneliness before God, our judge, we bow before His cross of love and grace and ask God mercy to heal our sinners. In verse 15 to 17, Christ encouraged the presence of children because we have many things to learn from them. As I said earlier, children teach us the value of humility and honesty in our relationship with each other and with God. Christ says that unless we become like children, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. So let us pray that God bless us with humility and honesty, which will make our worship experience more beautiful. May we be able to experience God's love and grace in this Lent season. May God bless us all.